What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we are going to show all of the pickups from the Midwest Monster. So I have not reviewed the footage from the show yet. So this uh, portion of the video or I guess video might go up at the end of that show video. I'm not exactly sure how long it is, uh, but I do want to go ahead and record this clip uh, just because I do have mystery packs going live tonight on the Car Shop Live, and some of these will be in there, so I want to get those packaged up and get this uh, clip recorded. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be its own standalone video. I do think I got enough footage from the show to probably make it between like 15, 20 minutes, somewhere in there. Uh, so this is probably going to be its own video. So we're going to do a quick uh, recap of all the pickups that I made at the Midwest Monster. And then I do have another stack over there uh, because I have gotten some mail in recently that I wanted to show you guys as well. So um, I have no clue when this video is gonna go up. So if we do have a giveaway going on, I will go ahead and pause right now and do that giveaway. And if not, then I'll be right back and we will get into these pickups. All right, guys, so now that the giveaway is out of the way, if we did have one, we are ready to go ahead and get into these pickups. So uh, I'm actually recording this clip on the day after the show. So most of these prices should be pretty fresh in my mind. Uh, and I will say the show was incredible. Probably the biggest show I've been to outside of Dallas or the National. Um, and most dealers were super, super willing to uh, work and make deals. I got some really, really good uh, deals in this lot. Um, some of the, some of the, probably the best deals I've ever gotten at a show. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, before we do get into the pickup, so I want to show some recent mail uh, that I've gotten in. And I've been buying like crazy. You guys know I'm putting together a massive uh uh, 502 fire pack series for the national uh, and then i'm doing mystery packs on the card shop live all the time as well so i have been buying like crazy i've actually gotten into some breaks as well so in one break in particular i it was a i want to say it was like obsidian and a prism break and maybe contenders optic i can't remember exactly uh but it was a random team break and i actually got the saints um and then there was another break a uh, pretty similar break uh, where I actually got the uh, Vikings. So both teams, I was you know kind of bummed out. Saints and Vikings aren't really teams that you're looking for, uh, but I actually did really, really well in both breaks. Unfortunately, I don't have the uh, break results from the Vikings yet, so that will probably be in a future mail day or something like that. Uh, but I do have the results from the Saints. So uh, out of Obsidian, we did hit a uh, Peyton Turner Obsidian Auto. I'm not really familiar with him, haven't really heard too much about him. So uh, if anyone out there is familiar, let me know if he's any good. Um, this one is going to be numbered to 199. Uh, you know what? Actually, I might just throw this up for this video's giveaway. So kind of spur of the moment decision. I don't know if this is worth 10 bucks. If it's worth $100, I have no clue. Uh, we're going to throw this up for this video's giveaway. So um, as always, guys, just be a subscriber, like the video, leave a comment, and you're going to be in on this giveaway for the Peyton Turner. So we hit that one. Uh, and then we hit a Drew Brees Prism Silver Auto. So um, honestly, outside of maybe like a Drew Brees Gold or I don't even know, I don't know if he's in a color blast or stained glass or something. This is honestly probably the best case scenario uh, for the Saints. So we were we got super, super lucky and hit a Drew Brees Silver Auto. Unfortunately, pretty awfully, you know, pretty awful centering but i uh, can't complain too much when you get the saints and you actually hit a true breeze auto so that one's actually pretty cool i kind of want to hold on to that one uh, just because, you know, Drew Brees is one of the best quarterbacks of all time. I don't have really any of his stuff. So it's kind of cool to actually have an auto. Um, so I was pumped about that. And then we also hit a Marcus Colston Gold Prism. Uh, so this is number to 10. Obviously, you know, Marcus Colston used to be really good. Uh, it's not the biggest gold prism in the world, but gold, you know, especially gold prism just is crazy. People love it. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to... Uh, throw this in the mystery packs for the card shop live, which I'm actually recording this video on Sunday. Uh, today is June 19th, I believe. So this will be in the uh, mystery packs on the card shop live. So that will probably happen or definitely happen by the time you guys see this video. Uh, but was very pumped about it. Marcus Colston Gold and Drew Rizzotto. 
pretty much again best case scenario for the saints and then we also picked up a larry bird hall of fame genesis sgc95 also in the card shop live mystery packs as well as this mac jones reactive yellow psa 10 this is going to be one of the bigger chase cards this one does about 130 to 150 bucks uh so this one will definitely be a nice one for someone in those mystery packs and now the main event we will show the all of the pickups from uh, the midwest monster yesterday and again very very happy with these pickups made a lot of like bulk deals uh multiple card deals so the first one up we have a an air apparent bones highland auto and then we have a tyrese maxi spectra team all this one is number 275 so um <clears throat> excuse me the price marked on this one was 50 price marked on that was 65 so they were asking what is that 115 i believe and i ended up getting both of these for 80 dollars so again uh pretty much all dealers were super super willing to work out deals and uh these are uh planning on throwing both of these in the uh national fire pack series again that series is going to be 100 packs 100 dollars per pack i do already have a lot of the chase cards i have like 15 cards that are well over that hundred dollar value so really now i need to get cards between like 50 to 100 dollars, and i'm probably gonna definitely add in some more chase cards as well uh, but really need to get the bulk of the uh, series uh, so Tyrese Maxey and Bones Highland, those will both be in the national repack. Um, this one, I don't think the value is going to be quite there to throw this in the national pack. This one is a Grant Williams gold select port side. Probably throw this in a future mystery pack series. I don't think, again, uh, it is a Grant Williams gold. I just don't think it's going to be there. I know his value probably shot up during the playoffs. He did play very well, unfortunately, against the Bucks. Uh, but uh, yeah, probably in a future mystery pack series. And I do actually want to show the next few cards because these were all part of the same deal. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six cards from the same dealer. We got the Grant Williams Gold. We got the Sadiq Bay Prism Fast Break. Nice little kind of color match there. That one's numbered to 125. So the red on the Pistons with the red parallel. Uh, that one will be in the national pack. Not sure on this one yet. This is another Sadiq Bay with a nasty uh, patch out of i believe that is immaculate um but uh yeah i'm not sure if this one's gonna make it in the national series this one could go in a, a mystery pack series but a really really nice patch on the city bay then we got the Ja morant uh prism silver price on that one was marked at 50. Uh, then we also have the trey uh young courtside fast break blue should be numbered to 25 yeah number to 25 there price on that one was 50 as well and then the paul george gold disco psa 10 so uh we came to a price on these of 310 dollars and um i said you know are you willing to work on that do you have any more room and he said how about 225 and i immediately said you got a deal uh, i was not expecting him to go down like almost a hundred dollars which was just crazy i think he was just really you know trying to move a lot of stuff and he was definitely successful at that so this was an incredible deal i, I you know i think in my opinion the paul george is probably a hundred plus card uh, so i got pretty much all of these for like another you know another hundred bucks uh if that and you know half of them were marked at fifty dollars so incredible deal there very very happy with those most of those will be in the national pack uh, series. Um, this one likely probably will as well. I've been wanting, I love this Hoop Dreams insert. I really want the blue cracked ice. It, do, it definitely does more than the red cracked ice just because of the, the better color match. Uh, been wanting one of these for a long time. Saw the price at $45 and immediately knew I was gonna get the card. Even if he wouldn't come off a dollar, I was gonna pay $45 for this card. Uh, I offered him 40, he, said, he took it immediately. So got the Lamello Hoop Dreams um it, red cracked ice insert for forty dollars i do think uh I, i'm pretty sure these do in between like 60 to 80 90 dollars i know the blue cracked ice definitely does um so very very happy with that buy again 45 was already a good price there uh, and then we did get the tim duncan i was thinking i got this one with another card maybe i think i think i got it with the derrick henry so yeah i'm almost positive i did so I got the Tim Duncan Genesis and the Derrick Henry stained glass. He was asking 135. I think I got these for 110. So not crazy off, but you know, decent amount off, 25 bucks off. Um, 
So this one will be in the mystery pack series tonight on the card shop live. This one will be in the national pack. So Tim Duncan Genesis, Derek Henry stained glass, two very, very nice cards and sought after uh, parallels inserts. And then we picked up I thought I got this. No, I think I got this one uh, by itself. So originally I said, what are you asking on the Mac Jones? I know this is brand new, so super hard to comp. I said, what are you asking on this? And they said $140. So I looked on eBay and there was one listed for like 85 or best offer. And he saw that too. So I think I ended up getting this one for, honestly, I can't remember, maybe 50 or 60 bucks. So definitely came quite a bit off of the original 140 asking price on the Mac Jones uh, prism green pulsar uh, this one will be in the mystery pack series as well and then i'll go ahead and show this so price marked on this one was 100 patrick williams gold disco out of mosaic so i said do you have any room on that and he said um honestly i'd probably take like 60 bucks for it i said you, absolutely let's do it so 60 bucks for a patrick williams gold out of mosaic you can't beat it i mean um, I know he was injured a lot of the season, but in the uh, playoffs, I thought he did play pretty well when he when he got in. So definitely a lot of potential here. Uh, this one will be in the National Pack Series, Fire Pack Series. And then I believe this one was the first pickup of the day. Um, tried to include some other cards in this deal with this dealer. Um, I can't remember the other cards. It, there might be a clip from the show, but um, he wasn't really as willing to work on some of the other cards that I wanted to make the deal. Um, I said, would you just do 60 on the Halliburton? And he said, yes. Um, I thought I saw some prices on this one on eBay for pretty high. This is the Green Flood, I believe at a T-Mall. Um, and these are pretty rare and hard to pull. And honestly, just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful card. The Green Flood looks incredible. So I was very happy with this one for 60 bucks. Again, not numbered, but pretty short print there. Very, very nice looking card. Honestly, probably one of my favorite picks up, pickups of the show. Very, very nice looking card. And then we got these two. Uh, we got the Max for Stop In um, Refractor and the Lewis Hamilton Ray Wave. I was shocked at how much these have come down. You know, I think I graded one of these as a PSA 9 and sold it pretty early on for like three or four hundred dollars and you can see the price marked was 80. I actually ended up getting both of these for I believe either 80 or 90 dollars. So price marked was 140 um, and I ended up getting both of these again for like 80 or 90 dollars and I actually did look at these for grading. I think both of these actually look really really clean. So uh, I'm probably going to include the uh, probably probably the max on the SGC grading challenge. Uh, if you guys watch that video, I don't know if that'll be out before this or not. Uh, but I wanted to get an HG895 and crack it and send to SGC. Couldn't find any, so I think I am going to include this one in that challenge. Um, I do think it looks pretty good, so hopefully that one will grade well. Uh, the Lewis will probably go in the Mystery Pack Series on the Card Shop Live. And then next up, the Chaser on the Mystery Pack Series on the Card Shop Live is the Drew Brees Kaboom. And honestly, the now that I'm thinking about it, the SGC Grading Challenge will probably be up before this video because I am going to show some of those cards, and I don't really want to you know ruin that video. So this one will probably be up after the SGC Challenge. Uh, but anyway, I did get the Drew Brees Kaboom for two hundred dollars, and uh, most comps on this card were like two sixty to. 280 so i feel like i got a pretty good deal on this one and most of these kabooms have that print line going across the top this one definitely has it but it is very very faint uh probably one of the i i don't know i don't really know how to say it i guess the um the least visible print line if that makes sense uh you know some of them you can really really see it this one is actually really hard to see so this one could potentially be a grading candidate I, i'm not sure if that would really hurt it that bad uh, it might potentially be able to get a 10 so drew Brees kaboom that will be the biggest chase card in the mystery pack series on the card shop live and now finally the last four cards are all going to be sent to sgc as part of that grading challenge so first up we got these as a package deal, the Trevor Lawrence Heat Wave. Um, I was sh honestly shocked at the price at 45. This one is number to 25, the teal parallel with the color match on the Jags. I mean, 45, already a really good deal. And I did get the Brady as well out of Phoenix. 
uh, numbered it to 199. I got these both for $55, which I thought it was an incredible, incredible deal. Especially if if the T log gets a 10, I think I will do really, really well on that deal. And it does look really clean. Uh, there was one little surface blemish um, on the on somewhere on the bottom over here, but overall I thought it looked really, really good. So got these both for $55. Really happy about that deal. And then finally, these two were also part of a package deal. We got the Jamar Chase. Uh, mosaic choice green red this one is not numbered but short print and i just realized that one that one touch is not shut very well i'm gonna have to be careful with that uh but this one was marked at 85 this one was marked at 80 so 165 i want to say i got both of these for 140 probably have a clip in the uh the vlog i believe these were 140 now the tom brady is actually numbered so that one's going to be numbered to 80 yeah numbered to 80 on the tom brady that's going to be the red yellow parallel i believe so 140 on the chase and the tom brady i think the chase actually looks really really clean should have a good chance of getting a 10 on that one so uh that does it guys uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this one i was very very pleased with the pickups the show was incredible um they are doing another one in october so already looking forward to that as well so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and i'll see you soon